Next up, properties. So if you're used to other languages like Java or C++, um, you probably know that it's good practice to define getters and setters to restrict access to object attributes. So for example, in our triple, um, what we could do so far is we could, for example, say a.nums equals one, two. And this doesn't stop me. But now if I try to print a, it's gonna um, give an error because now there's no third element here in nums. And if I want to stop users from being able to do this, I would, for example, define, I would hide the attribute nums and make getters and setters. Okay. So in Python, we know we can hide attributes by putting an underscore in front of it. This doesn't change much, um, except the fact that, so if I so far, I haven't executed this yet, so if I so far a dot and press tab, it's gonna autocomplete to nums. But now that I have the underscores here, um, if I press a tab, it doesn't um, autocomplete except when I start with the underscore because then it's also gonna list me the dunder methods and the hidden methods. Okay, so it's useful to hide my nums here and define getters and setters. But in Python, there's a really, really nice way of um, not of you not having to define getters and setters until you get to a point where you think it makes sense. And this is to make properties. Okay, so imagine I make the class here and I'm I want to hide my nums here, but I want to be able to return them. I don't want people to be able to change them, but I want people to be able to look at them. And to do this, I have this property decorator for a method called nums. This here is a decorator. I'm going to get to decorators later, but for now, just um, believe me that it simply, um, basically I can call this nums without the parentheses. It makes me be able to call this nums without the parentheses. Okay. And now if I call a.nums here, so this calls this function and returns well self.underscore nums. But what's nice about this is that we can now not anymore assign to attributes. This is now a property and we, as to, to this attribute. This is now a property and we cannot define it because um, Python forbids that. So now we forbid writing um, to this nums. Okay, but if we want to allow writing to this, we can make a setter. So now this here is basically a getter, but we can also make a setter. And to make a setter, I have to write this decorator nums, so the name of what we want the name of that to be, dot setter. And then we can even add logic to it. Okay, so here, this is what we would normally do also in Java or C++ in a set nums method. Okay, and here we check, for example, if the length is precisely one. Okay, so we can make a, we can set a dot nums four five six. That's fine, and we can even access it. So now, if we write it like this, the setter is going to be called. And if we write it without the um, uh, without the assignment operator, the getter is going to be called. But we see what I cannot do here is call a dot nums equals one, two, because we made behavior that restricts us from doing so. Okay, so with properties, so with this decorator and this decorator, we can add getter and setter logic without having them change the surface of our object and how this object is interfaced. This is really nice because this way, I can, when I first create an object or a class, I can just make all my attributes public and then when I later on and then, for example, other people start using these and are going to make their code so that it, uh, it simply called this triple.nums. But then when I later on notice that I need to change something about how they are accessed, I can, sim I can simply set these getters and setters here and the interface of how uh, people are going to use my class doesn't change, but I added behavior to what happens when I call these. And that's really useful in Python and a really nice thing. So you can start designing with our public and when you find reason, then you add the getters and setters. That's good because you don't have this overly complex list of setters and getters, which is actually good style in C++ and Java, but you can add them as needed. <laughs>